we're back um, with session two of the uh, Mastery Serger of the 890. And we are going to start on page 11. We kind of went over last, last time um, and ended with on page 10. And we did not say anything, though, on that when you were in that one screen that it showed what needles you were going to use. So here it's telling you that you're going to put in the left and right needle. Okay. And you tell and that then, because it's just the dots are filled right, in there. Right. Uh-huh. Okay. And th these here are the um, cover, cover stitch, stitch needles. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So let's go to page 11. Mm -hmm. um, you will should be now at your screen, your stitch view. Mm -hmm. And what you have on here... And the upper is all of your tensions. Okay. So you are basic starting tension on, I mean, any surgery I've ever used is 4.0. Okay. So your right, left needle, upper, low, looper, lower looper. Mm -hmm. um, the, you can adjust those because you're not stuck at, the, you know, that because you can either adjust them here. Right. I or there. think you can adjust them here. Sure. So there's always, Bernina always has multiple, multiple ways, ways yeah. of doing things. So that's where you can adjust. Uh -huh. um, let's go. Stitch length and differential feed. Now this is where, if you look over here, there's no knobs. And there's always knobs on this side. Mm. For for you to do things. No knobs. No knobs. Your stitch length is here. Mm -hmm. So go ahead and touch that. This is where you can adjust your stitch length and your differential feed. Okay. Now go ahead and touch one of these videos. Looky there. So all the way through this, it's it's basically showing you exactly what those things are going to do. Oh, and then it, it adjusts uh -huh. and then it shows and the difference. Yeah, you can see the differences. Okay, let's now go. Now it's going to go to... Let's close Check it. that out. Isn't that cool? Yeah. Cool. Okay, you want to close it. Yeah. Sorry, I was watching Now let's it. go <laughs> to this video. This is differential feed. And you asked, what does differential feed do? It adjusts, like, if you have a, a real stretchy fabric... You can adjust the differential feed so that it's acting. It's basically in my head. So it lays it's flat. like two. It's like a feed dog on top and feed dog on bottom. It's kind of how I look at it. So it's adjusting. So you can adjust if you want a lot of gathering, maybe, uh -huh. or you want to fit in a piece. It, you can adjust it with your differential feed. Oh, and it makes the depth of the uh -huh. gathers deeper the higher you set it. I see. Okay. Yeah. So that's what that does. Okay. And then you can close out of there. Um, you have a needle up and down, just like on your Bernina. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, this. it says here, remember, the sew sewing speed can also be set in the machine setup screen. So you also have right here mm -hmm. your that's where we were speed. before. Right. We the, were there. Yeah. yeah. Um let's go to our stitch optimizer, which is right here, and we were kind of looking at that before. So oh. this is kind of showing you the colors, and then right. if you didn't want that, it it's just there. The stitch. Uh -huh. Um let's let's look at this. So this is where you're going to go in and troubleshoot and the stitch. troubleshoot. Yeah. So if you don't really know, you know, which, where yeah. what anything is, then I can go in here, find the picture of what it looks like, and there should be a video to show me what to do. And it tells you. It'll tell you lower your tension. One, you know, one speed, one place. So if the fabric edge forms a tunnel or curls, <clears throat> you would touch that and it tells you what to do. If the needle thread green creates loops on the wrong side of the needle, I'm going to touch it, it's going to say incre increase right needle thread tension. 
Well, that's kind of handy. Isn't that? Looper threads connect on the right side of the fabric, which apparently is bad. Reduce the upper looper thread tension. Increase the lower looper thread tension. Now, and cool. what I would say is that you might, you might have, I would start out with increase the upper looper, do a sample, see what happens. And if that didn't help it, then go in and change that lower looper, okay. as what they said. Okay, so that that pretty well huh. takes care of any troubleshooting that you need. Okay. I mean, it's it's really a handy thing. Um, okay, so now we can go in and we're going to look at a. First of all, we're going. They don't they don't take you through threading this. Okay. Well, Seriously? Gonna, uh, you better teach me how to do that. Yeah, you might need to do that. <laughs> I might need to do so that. So now that will probably be right here okay. in, the, in your quick reference. Quick start guide. Mm -hmm. Or maybe not. No, I think it is. Okay, there's all that. There's all that that we've... This is all that naming. That's name, name the game. Here? Yep. Here's some. Okay. So we're going to open up this. And slide that open. You're going to open up this. Okay. In, we have the air, our air um, threader. So this is for our two up, upper and lower loopers. Okay. Now, if you look here, I want you to turn this. And turn it. Do you see how that closed? Yes. Okay, now open it up. Now it's opened. Okay. So in order to use the air threading mechanism, you're going to have it, you have to have it closed. closed. Okay. All right. So, um, in with this, on most sergers, mm -hmm. There's a pattern that you have to thread your serger in. It's usually the upper looper first, then the lower loop, or the lower, it's one, it's one or the other. Right. And it'll tell you right up here, it'll say one, two, three, four. Okay. It'll, now on the, but on air threaders, we don't have to worry about that. Okay. So we're going to go ahead and let's get these threaded. Okay. So we're going to do the red one first. And you're going to come up and you're going to put that right here. And you're going to take it and your pressure puts up. You're going to take this and I kind of pop it right in there like that. Purple. Oh, I don't want the purple one. I want this one. Did you hear that? Did you hear it kind of click? Kind of. Yes, I heard it. And that's going into that thread guide back there. Okay. And then I'm going to come down here. Now, the secret of this one is that you're going to pull enough thread so that you have the length to shoot sure. out. So you're going to hold this in, mm -hmm. and you're going to pulse your foot on your foot. Pulse meaning just pushing taps, it down or just and tap. holding it until it's... Put it all the way down and hold it. Uh-huh. There it goes. Stop. It's threaded. Oh. The lower looper threaded first. How handy is that? Now we can put this out. Okay. Okay. All right. Now we're going to do the same thing. Going to do the same thing with the blue. Okay. I go down in here. Uh-huh. And I heard it click. Not going to pull there. enough. Yep. And you're going to kind of put that a little bit in it. And the secret is, is to le learn to let go of the thread once you s it starts sucking How do you it get in. It in there? Nope, you just hold it like that. Oh, you don't. Okay. Ooh. There it goes. And there it is. Okay. And There's your hardest part. Back here. Yep. With the other one. Yeah. Okay. All right. Now we're gonna do the green. Really? <laughs> Can you right hold here. it? Okay. 
I got a knot in it. You got a pair of scissors? Cut that end off. Yeah. Okay. All right. So I'm going to do the same thing. Same thing. Now on this Click. one, you're going to follow the green. Yeah. You're going to follow the colors. So you're going to go over and wherever it's green. Like that? Uh-huh. And then you're going to go Through around there. the green. Uh-huh. And then I would go in one of these. Just put it in there. Okay. And now do we have, are those needles in the right? Yeah, they are. Okay. So now you're going to go in, in, I can't see. What this it, thing? Yep. Uh-huh. Okay. All right. Now you're going to thread that needle. The right needle. Uh-huh. Now, how, I, do, how do I know that this goes to the right needle? Just because, well, because the thread's on yeah. the right side? Uh-huh. Okay. Whoops. <coughs> okay. Okay, and it's just going to go right back underneath with all the rest. And we're going to do the exact same thing with our... Okay, and in the yellow uh -huh. loop, and in the yellow. yellow loop, and not in the same thing. No, not in the same thing. Just move it. There you go. But in this same uh -huh. thing. <coughs> okay. Okay. And I need this has got a. Am I there? Bifocals. Yeah, tell me about it. Okay. Now you have this little gadget here that you can use as a um, your needle threader. Okay. Um, I've never I haven't needed it yet. Okay. But also this end is where because this, this is tight to get right. in there, and so you can put the needle. You know, put this up in, and when you take that needle out, it'll mm -hmm. be easily out, but it's also easy to put it in. Sure. So, so it's a neat little gadget. Okay. I notice we have a handy little felt thing. Uh huh. To put your um, like if you had three needles across here, you could put them, you know, in right. there. So, like I said before, this is uh for the cover, cover stitch. stitch. And if you look, when we get into that, we're gonna we we will put these threads all here. We'll come across here, put them in here. They're going to go all the way over here. They're oh, all three threads. Because you can see it. Uh-huh. Yeah. Okay. So that is that. Okay. All right. So we have it set up. We're going to... What did I do? There. Okay. You want to close this? This closes first. Do I open this back up? Oh, yeah. Yeah, you got to open that up. Okay. All right. Close, close that. Close that. Close. Now we have... I have some fabric. Chip its table on. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, did we have our knife is up? Yes. Okay. And we got our thread out. Mm -hmm. So let's take the thread and take it back over to the side. Okay. 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 Now, um, put your foot down. Okay. And I like to go ahead and just uh, hold my threads now go ahead and start sewing, holding your threads, and let's just get somewhat of a... That was weird. Okay, there you go. Okay. All right. So now go ahead. You have, um, you do have a knee lift that goes on here if you wanted, but I usually just lift. Okay. And I position, now again, remember we can position our knife to, um, to, be, to be wider. So if I wanted it wider, I can move that knife out or I can leave it right at six to start with. Okay. And now I want you to go ahead and search that. Down, run it, keep running it. Now, I like to take it, and I just keep going, and then I bring it around and cut it. On the... You can, uh-huh. Oh, shoot. 
Okay. Now, there's your surged edge. And that's, <clears throat> I don't see that you really need to do a thing with that. Okay. It's pretty nice. So this is going to look like this picture, or it should. Mm -hmm. So we should have, see if I fold this up. So we have our blue, green, and our whatever kind of the yellowish green. is, yeah, is there. And then we've got and our red. red, and the green is right there. And the blue is on the edge. Okay. That's how okay. easy it is to surge. Okay. Now this is just, this is what most of the time... Most people are going, they, this is what they use. When I want to, if I'm doing a garment, I'm most of the time just use that. Okay. Sometimes I will go down to a narrow. Now, just, just asking. So if I look at this, I see that there is a little gap between those loops and the actual mm -hmm. edge of the fabric. Is then, it supposed to be that way? Eh, you can, that does not bother me. Okay. Um, Let's adjust this. Let's let's move that thread. Let's move that out a little bit. Okay. Okay. Now do a now do a row. And we do have a dish. A dish that sits in front of you. Oh. Okay. All right. Worse. Yeah, right. So I move that needle out. We move that finger out more. Okay. So what it does is it gives more room for this thread to sit there, but it's too much. So the the right setting was really at zero. So let's move it all the way in. Okay. And let's try that. Okay. All right. Now is it rolling towards it is. Yes. Do you see how it's rolling? Yes. So that's that move that finger out. Zero was pretty close to the right place. And but you could adjust it anywhere from zero to two negative two or zero to two positive two. So this is a really loose one, and you can see how loose that is. I mean, goodness, mm -hmm. it's very loose. This is the original one, which is a little bit loose, and this is the one where it's right up on there, it's pretty tight. And huh. there's even places where it's rolling it. It's right. taking it in further. Right. So for me, with and, and I have all of the Berninas. My 450 mm -hmm. has MTC. All of them do. And so a lot of times when I see something like that, people will go, oh, my tension's off. No, it's that finger is out too far. Okay. Just adjust it. And then if it's still doing some stuff, then I'm going to go in and troubleshoot it. Right. Okay. Any questions? Not so far. Do you think you could take it home and do it? Do this? <laughs> I can do this. You I could can. do a regular, just take this serger home and you could. I can do my this, fleece blankies for the could. church sale. Yeah, I can do could. that. <laughs> um, you could thread it. I could thread it. You can see how easy that threading yep. is on this. Uh, so does that take some of that fear out? Well, I could thread my old one. Okay, but, but you didn't get a stitch like that. No, I didn't. And I never knew how to adjust the tension. Right. And I honestly never knew what to use all those different stitches for or why I would even do it. Right. So, so what um, I would say, why don't we, we've gone through the tension, kind of, some of the tension settings. Um, we have, you know, talked about that. So. Mm -hmm. It's it's a matter of actually if your tension doesn't look like this, you can go in here, you can troubleshoot and it, it, and you can fix it into this. Yep. Mm -hmm. So if your tension looked, if it was, if you were having this trouble, what would you do? I would reduce my upper 
upper looper thread tension. So which, which is one is blue. your upper looper? Is blue. Blue. Or I would increase my lower looper thread tension, which is red. Right. So it's pretty well. Now, it's... when you go in to adjust this tension, you're not adjusting a, a ton. You're just you, I, a smidgen. I would a smidgen. Yeah. Yeah. Um, probably one click. Okay. And then I would then do try a sample. It and then, and yeah. if I needed to do more. Okay. But I'm not going to go here and go boom, 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 boom. Yeah. You know. <laughs> <laughs> I don't want to do that either. <laughs> okay, don't do that. Don't do that. So that is just that basic um, thread tension. Now, a lot of times, let's do one more thing here. Let's okay. go back. You went out? Yeah, I went out. Okay. Okay. Um, let's say we wanted, I wanted this a little bit closer. So together that stitch. My... That's your stitch length. There. So you can change that stitch length. And I want it lower, you said? Maybe you want it tighter. A tighter stitch. Like that? Yeah, let's try that. See what that looks like. So that's my original, uh huh, and that's my tighter. And that's where you've adjusted it. Mm -hmm. So you and might... I didn't go down that much, uh -uh. so that made a big difference uh -huh. in uh, point five. I went down point five, and it made that big it of a made difference. That much of a difference, yeah. But it looks nice. Mm -hmm. Um. So okay, let me give you another piece. Well, let's do something with the differential. Okay. We're going to put two together. Okay. And I want you to, let's go in and just change the differential a little bit. To what do you want? Let's go, let's try higher. That high? I don't know. Let's play. Let's go up a little bit more. You can see that that's how easy it was for you to learn how to thread your serger, how to adjust it, and how to play. And how to stitch. Yeah. And how to stitch. Easy peasy. Okay. So with that, we will see you next time for um, session three, and have a good week. Bye-bye.